Hey guys, Dark Waker here, and for today's video, I will do a voiceover for Ryoma. And as you can see, the build is different. We run Soul Reaver and Hermes now, and Spear of Longinus. Since I prefer it over Rank Breaker, you have additional cooldown reduction and additional armor. And for the Rank Breaker speed effect, we just run Hermes. So let's hop right into the gameplay. As you can see, this is a high elo gameplay consisting of only conquerors. In my team, nearly only top 10. And in the opponent's team, we have Tiamo, which is a really good player. We have the Murad player, he is really good. And Mr. Rain, he is currently ranked 2. And the other two people are conqueror as well. So as I as Ryoma I usually want to start with a red buff and then I decide from there do I want to go for invade so red blue and then go for enemy red or I just go for level 4 and then I just go for red the side camps and then um, go to the blue side and in the jungle you always want to use your passive um, whenever it comes up on the creeps so you you are hitting it you see the passive is going to come up usually you want to get uh, a little bit far away from the jungle creep so you do additional damage since when you hit your passive from longer range you do additional damage So I'm just clearing the camps right now, so I can get level 4. I know usually Murals uh, start, we, we saw that he started blue buff, so I'm pinging you know, to the others that Murad might gank top. Now I'm just sitting here in the bush to see if we can catch someone off guard. Like if someone tries to gank the mid laner, I'm prepared to um, catch him basically, or I'm right now just poking the Jinnah and he has to use his flicker that's pretty good for us so we can so we rem uh, remember um, that his flicker is down and that we can try to gank him later on and right now I just camped in the bush saw that Jinnah moved and I just could poke him again and I knew he is low now we can just force um, Dragon since he has to go back and we are more people you have to be careful though that the enemy jungler can't steal uh, the dragon so better smite it right and right now um, red side our camps are back up I'm pinging to the others that they should retreat. I'm, I think I'm checking if his blue's up. It's not up. He probably did it already. So we just continue to uh, farm up. It's always important. Um, if your camps are open, always try to get them before you do any ganks or any invades. Since it's your gold. And if you go for invade and you fuck up, they can just go for your... Um, camps and steal it so they basically get your income uh, on top of their income mm -hmm. we are clearing our camps and then probably rotating to mid lane so I can um, get mid vision see if we can catch someone off guard that's really important the mid vision game around the river to see if you can catch someone off guard like if you kill someone you can go for another objective like stealing the camp or going for drake or just forcing the tower and my priority for objectives is towers if possible then um buffs that they, they lose xp and uh, you gain XP and get more gold and they lose more gold, that's snowball effect. And after that, um, dragon, I don't think it's that important 
Like maybe the first one is important if you can get quicker level four and then force a team fight. But besides that, dragons don't give that much gold and XP anymore. We got first blood and I died. No, two people of us died, but we got three people. That's pretty good for us. And remember, as Ryoma, uh, you are a kiter. You're not the engager. You're not, especially as jungle uh, Ryoma, you are not the engager. You don't have, like, uh, as top laner, a lot of times people run flicker, so you can flicker, engage onto the opponents. That can work pretty well, but I would prefer to play him as a kiter. Like, peel for your ADC. When they are going for him, st uh, stun the opponents. And you can do so much damage attacking from the back line since you do additional damage when using your skills from far away. Just clearing the wave right now and then clearing the other camps and then probably trying to yeah, go for the mid vision again. Trying to see if you can catch someone off guard. Marot is coming, we are jumping back, and now we are quickly going for his shadow, getting Marot off since he was overextended. Using my ultimate into three people, now we have to cut back. Since they, uh, they are low, my team can just clean up, that's really good for us. We see the Joker is pushing top lane, but I don't think we are fast enough to stop him, so we just go for the mid tower. pretty good and I see that we have a bot wave so we rotate quickly to the bot tower and get another tower so we won the team fight lost one tower at top lane but we got two towers so it's it was a really good trade for us and towers are really important since it gives global gold for everyone and you create map pressure you the map opens for you so you can easily go for invades and they can't retreat to the first tower. Okay, Liliana got caught. We are just quickly going for blue buff, I guess. And checking if they are, yeah, they are on Drake right now, since there are more people. Trying to see if I can... Oh, I missed my spell. Trying to see if I can poke someone. And now we have to heal. That was not so good. We, um, Liliana died and they got the dragon, thanks to it. And the Greg died too. But we're still in the lead position, so it's okay. Trying to clear the bot wave right now. And then ro uh, rotate back to mid lane. I guess. Yeah. We should try to force the top tower right now, since... Um, it's still a retreat point for the opponents. Enemy red is up. Yeah, enemy red is up. So we are rotating to enemy red buff so we can try to force a fight. Nice hook from Greg. They don't get red buff. I'm just trying to peel for Violet right now. Attacking everyone who's going for her. Poking, using my ultimate, doing a little bit of damage, but we still... Wait. One for two. Wow. Was... We f we didn't do that trade as well as I thought. I thought we got the... Wait. Red is up too. Okay. One for three trade. That's not good for us.
Emerald is Emerald is even in gold with Violet. We just need to pick Marot off in the team fights and we can win since he's their biggest carry potential at the moment. Let's see if they are going for Drake maybe. And Marot got caught right now. We did a lot of damage to him and to Jinna. And we can just go for free Drake since two of them are low right now. Let's see if we can catch someone at the top lane. Yeah, two. Lumbo died, that's good for us. And we have. We can. Or well, two are pushing what? We should push the top tower at least. And I'm quickly rotating bound, uh, down now. We get the Marot. And now we quickly have to rotate down to stop any more pushing from uh, the opponents. Let's see if we can get Zaniel. Yes, I stunned him. Greg Hook, ultimate on top of him. And Joker comes too. I think we can get him as well. Joker, Lumbur, they were overextended. Like, they should just let Zaniel die. Like, there was no point to still trying to defend him. When we are four people, he was already nearly down, and they were only two people. And we can push another tower. That's good for us. Three people are down. Either we go for another tower or we just go for Slayer right now. Yeah, I think we can just go for the tower since we have a Siege minion. And Jinnah's low and he is dead. Now we have a minion wave at mid tower. We can get that tower as well. Get the mid tower. We still have minion wave so we go for the next tower. And we just one shot the Marat. He got grabbed. I used my stun ultimate, and he was he was dead. We have no minion wave anymore, and so I ping for Dark Slayer. Two people are still down, especially the Marat is still down, so they don't have a smite, and we still have one. So it's basically a free Dark Slayer, and after that we should just go for yeah rotate top lane, push the top tower, uh, tier two top tower. And then just, yeah, I guess just dive them. We have Dark Slayer, we are really ahead now. Violet, Violet can poke the tower down for free. And if one, yeah, if one or two of them are poked down, we can just go for the dive. Oh, we just go for to uh, middle tower. Yeah, middle tower is down. That's good for us. And we just rotate now to the top side and get all tier 3 towers. So the game is pretty much over if we get the all 3. We got all tier 3 towers. One of them is still down. Murat. Got hooked, I, I think he got Zen is down too. Three people down, we are still five. This game is over. We kill Mirror 2 and that's game. So what did you see in this gameplay? You saw the rotation around Midriver, the vision game was really important. That's why I like Helmers, you you are just so quick to rotate um, in between the bushes to pick someone off guard. And Ryoma is really strong early game, so you try to pick someone. If you you always have to think where is their jungler, where are people going to rotate, and then try to pick them off guard. 
and after that you can go for objectives or you just force objectives since Ryoma is so strong in the game and then snowball by getting like you're always forcing the buffs then going for drakes and then going for towers as well and that's why Ryoma and Zephyrus are top tier junglers at the moment uh, and are picked or banned every time at competitive. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, voiceover and I see you next time.